welcome once again to the Aroma Share Club. This is June 2014. I'm Liam King and I would just like to welcome you and we are going to make an insect repellent string. And I know that might sound sort of different, but this is how you make it. This is a ball of just cotton yarn rolled up into a little ball, a little bit bigger than a golf ball. And I have a baby food jar here so that you can see that I have two ounces of carrier oil. This is actually half a hoba and half grapeseed oil. You can use either one, however, however you want to do it. And in that, we are going to put, we put quite a few drops in this recipe because we want it to soak up in the string and we want the string to really um, be aromatic in the air and I'll show you how you use it. So I'm going to put 10 drops of lavender in here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And once again, remember to screw your lids on tight on your bottles, okay? Because we don't want air getting inside of them. And then we're going to put in ten drops of eucalyptus citriodora. These are all fabulous. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. These are all fabulous um, insect repellent oils. And then we're going to put in 10 drops of our sweet basil. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Now we're going to mix that up a little bit. I'm just going to put the lid on my jar and swish it around. You could also use these if you want to. You can use either one. I'm going to put it in the clear baby food jar right now just to show you how you use it. And what you do is you take your ball of yarn and you stick it in here. And you're going to roll it around a little bit. You're going to have to roll it around every so many minutes. And this takes a while, like almost a whole day sometimes, for this yarn to soak up every single bit of this oil. Now, what do you do after you have this all done? You leave it in your jar tightly sealed until you need to use it. Then you're just going to unwind like about this much of your string and you're going to tie it like on your tent poles uh, when you go camping to keep the bugs from coming in the tent door. You can, if you're out on a picnic, you can tie a few on the tree branches or on the sides of the corners of the picnic table and just the essential oils would just go aromatic into the air and help repel the insects. Now my daughter's getting married next month and what we're going to do, she's having an outdoor wedding, we're going to make a bunch of these in her wedding colors and then we're going to tie them in little bows in her colors all in the trees and the bushes around in the yard and that will help keep the bugs away at her wedding. One more tip, you can poke a hole in the top of your baby food jar. You could actually, you'd have to use like a little drill on this. You have to sort of scratch a little hole here first and then you can get your drill through here. And these actually make uh, prettier ones, but you can use these. And so another thing we can do at her wedding is get like scrapbooking paper and put it around these or you heritage maker gals you could give me some fun ideas on some labels that we could put around these jars and then we have our hole poked in there and you just pull out a little bit of the string about this much and then you can pull it out throughout the whole day so it's going to be a whole day affair and we could have these sitting on, on the tables and they will also make sure that no insects are getting around the guests right at the table while they're eating their food. So this is our recipe for um, today. It is the insect repellent string. And I am Leanne King, and thank you so much for joining me at the Aroma Share Club. Goodbye.